Hello, this is Mike Healy coming to you from the Country Club Maryland in the square office with my fireside chat, not the Oval Office. So um, anyway, um, I really hope that all of you are staying home and staying safe. Um, the golf course is one of the places where you can come and have some social distancing and be able to get some fresh air or a park or walk, whatever you do. My number one concern is that everyone is staying safe and is healthy to be able to play golf later this year when this whole thing is kind of uh, waned. So anyway, we're going to talk about the handicap system. Now, this is specifically for our ladies groups, our 9 and 18 old ladies groups. So it has changed, yes. Has it changed a lot? No. Uh, number one is when calculating your handicap, it only uses your low 8 out of 20 scores as opposed to 10 out of 20 scores last year. So your index might have dropped a little bit um, because those are theoretically better scores to be able to calculate your handicap. The calculation is different. Now it uses par, which your par is 72, um, and it also uses the, uh, the, the course rating and slope rating. So it's a little bit different calculation, so you might see a different index in there. Um, one of the big things that's kind of freaking a lot of people out, and I would say don't be freaked out about it, is the maximum scores you can take as a double net double bogey. So let's say if you're playing number six, which is a par four, okay? So it's a par four. A double bogey is two strokes over. And then if you get one stroke, that makes it three strokes over. So the max, maximum you can take on that hole is a seven. If you take an eight, just adjust it down to a seven, okay? And that's all it is. Now, the most difficult part of this whole thing, and again, I don't think it's that difficult, is figuring out where you get strokes. So if you're a 24 handicap per se, you would get one stroke on every hole, but you would take the extra six because one stroke on every 18 holes, and you would take the extra six holes and you would get a stroke there. So you would take the low six handicap holes on the golf course and you would get a stroke. But you don't need to worry about that. There's two ways to be able to get around that. Number one, I recommend that everybody uses the app on their phone. So if you go to the app store, if you're an iPhone person or an Android that, that's available there, and you download um, MSGA Golf Life, the app, it's going to ask for a username and password. If you don't have that, call us. We'll help you with that. And then you can go ahead and post your score hole by hole. You can do it while you're on the course. It's a great way to help you keep your score as well as a scorecard. Um, you, you, don't have to, you don't have to use a scorecard during regular play. During a tournament, you do. But during regular play, you can just post your score on your phone, and it'll show you where you get strokes. Okay, so that's an easy way to be able to keep your score, and it'll automatically adjust downward if necessary. The second way is to come to the golf shop and ask one of our professionals. So we have Julian, who is our new pro. We have Cedric, who is an old pro. Uh, we have Kyle, who's a middle-aged pro. And then we have me. I've been here forever. So anyway, we are more than happy to help you. So there's a couple different ways you can post. Number one, the app, which we recommend. Number two is you can go online to MSGA. Uh, network.org and you put in your username and password, or you can post it still here in the golf shop. We will have uh, wipes there next to the computer, so we'll make sure it's wiped down um, and it's sanitary uh, for your posting. But anyway, that's that's the second thing. Um, the other thing is that um, is as far as far as handicaps, um, we used to have two indexes. There used to be a USGA index, which years ago only updated once every 31 days or 30 days, depending on the month, updated on the first of the month. And then we had the current or trend handicap, which could conceivably update every time you play. And if you notice in the last few years, I've kind of convinced or asked uh, our ladies groups to all go to this trend handicap because that way you have the latest up-to-date handicap. Recently, the revisions were on the 1st and the 15th, so you can have a handicap that's 14 days old. Um, I'd rather know exactly what your handicap is of that day. So the USGA agreed with me. Um, they didn't call me, but they agreed with me, and they only have one index now. So if you play, your index will be updated. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to change because that's be one of your low out of your, out of your last 20 scores to make a change, but, and it depends on what drops off too. But that way you only have one index. There's no USGA or trend. Which one do I use? It alleviates a lot of problems and questions. So that makes it easy. You'll see that on your phone. Also on this app on your phone, if you click on the top left, there's a Maryland State Golf Association logo. Click on that and that will show you uh, it'll list courses. If you click on courses, it'll tell you your handicap from whichever particular tee at that course. So at the Country Club Maryland, you would look at red tees. It'll tell you your handicap. It uses your index. It uses par, course rating, and slope rating to calculate that. Now, if you're playing, let's say, at Baltimore Country Club, you can type in Baltimore Country Club from whatever tees you're playing. Click on that. It'll tell you your handicap there. So it's much easier to figure out what you should be playing regardless of where you're playing. But I would stress Number one, please come to us if you have any questions. Don't be freaked out by it. Don't be upset. 
please come to us. We're here to help you. And number two, please be safe during these really trying times. Um, we are doing everything we can, if you want to come play, to wipe down everything. We're wiping down the carts. We're wiping down everything. We're currently looking at a, a way to be able to make it so you don't have to touch a flag stick. Um, just be able to pull your ball out of the hole. Um, we're doing anything we can to make sure we have social distancing and people are safe. And we look forward to seeing you when this whole thing is over. We're going to play a lot of golf, and we're going to play in some tournaments, and we're going to have a ton of fun. So anyway, look forward to seeing you at the Country Club Maryland when all is clear.